Is it all going? Yeah, really good. Not all free sangria, is it? No, we're checking about 200 euros. Not bad for the first couple of hours. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, look, can I get to the bar? You got your wristband? No. Of course you can, darling. <laughs> Are you doing well, lad? You keep that up, you might get a regular gig. Thanks, Madge. There you go. What have I told you about that, Raspberry? You won't enjoy a holiday if you're constantly fretting about stuff. It's over. What? He didn't show up at court. What does that mean? It means I get everything. My money, my investment in all the property, everything. I get my life back. Oh, lovely. Hey, if you're quidsing, you know what that means? What? We can afford to come back here together again next year. How are you doing? I miss him. Mm. Yeah, I know you do. Do you think Gavin and Troy will come over? No. I think they might be having an early night. Oh, will you be going home now, then? I mean, you were using Troy's place on the holiday, weren't you? Yeah, no, I wanted to stay, but someone's got to go back and take care of their business. I'll definitely be back, though. I think I've caught the Benidorm bug. Oh, Donald had that last year. You need to get some lotion from the chemist. It'll clear up in 48 hours. Do you think he'll be all right? Who? Mateo? Uh. I think you mistaken me for someone who gives a shit. Yeah, yeah, all right. You liked him, didn't you? Not really. It's a bad boy thing, isn't it? I mean, who wants a wet, boring, spineless, predictable mummy's boy? Oh yeah. I thought it was you. I saw all your hair and I saw your face and I thought, I bet that's them. I thought you were going home today. No. Staying here. In Spain. With me dad. Do you want to come out with us tonight? Yeah. Why not? We've both given up on men, so we may as well come out for the laugh. Ah, oh, don't be so hard on yourself. We're going up to one of them tranny bars in the old town. I think you'll do really well. I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have your attention, please? Your attention, please. Thank you. I'd like to say a few words, Janice. I want to thank everybody for your support in this new business venture, although it's not just that. It's a new way of life. When I first moved to Spain with my husband, Mel, we had a dream, a dream we'd live happily ever after. And we got close. We got so close. I miss my husband more with each passing day. We had our good times and our not so good times. But as I stand here, in front of this tiny rundown bar, I know just how proud he would have been that I've done it all on my own. Janice Mick Michael. I know sometimes you think I take you all for granted, and I suppose I do from time to time. But I need you all to know one thing. I love you. And seeing you standing here beside me as I enter this new chapter in my life, I'm well aware of just how much you must love me. So, please, raise your glasses and toast my wonderful family. And the finest man I ever knew, my husband, my soulmate, my Mel. Mel! What would you do if I sang out of tune?